So initially we have five vertices and uh, I, I'll just say at each stage, let's forget the seconds, it's not important. At each stage, yeah, each uh, vertex, each vertex branches into two vertices. Branches into two vertices. Right. How many? At the end of uh, nth stage. Right. So, but the first, firstly, we have five. Right. Then it becomes five times two plus five, right? At the second stage, we have this. Maybe let's write it like this. This is okay. At the end of the first stage, right? so this is the zero at stage. And then the, at the end of the first stage, you get these many. Yeah. Is that okay? No. Yes, sir. Yeah. Because that has nothing to do with, uh, because I mean, there are only five vertices and so each of them divides into two. So it's five times two and uh, then it is again, five times two and the initial five. What happens in the third, what happens in the second stage is we have this, which were already there. All right, but then we it also doubles. We have to do double of this. Do you agree with this? Yeah, those that were there at the end of the first stage, they are already there. They are they are still there, but then they have also each of them has also divided into two. I'll show you in the picture. Like these will divide into two, this will divide into two. That is fine. This was already there in the previous question. But what's more, more is that even the older vertices are dividing into two. This is how the picture will look like at the end of, after, at the end of the second stage. Fine? Yes. Right. So whatever was there will still be there and then whatever was there will also get multiplied by two. So in total we have this. Now, can you tell me what will be there at the end of the third stage? How many will be there? Five plus five into two plus bracket five plus five into two into two plus second bracket, first bracket five plus five into two. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm. Uh, sorry, sorry. So, uh, if after till what I've written after that, can you say what more is there? Into two. Into two. Yeah. This much from plus. This much is in second bracket. No, this, like from this five second bracket. Six. Okay, okay. Go on. Uh, after plus, after plus, that part is second bracket. Ah, uh, okay. Second bracket, I kind of forget. So I because. Not yeah. there, not there. Like, not there, oh. not there. Like, 5 plus 5 into 2, uh -huh. into 2. That one you have to write again, but in second bracket also. Okay, like the same like thing I have to, to write again. Yes, but in second bracket. Uh, okay. Second bracket, uh, what does that mean? Like a box? Like the curly one. Curly bracket. Huh. Okay. Anyone will. Uh-huh. 
this much in second bracket into two into two that's it hmm. no, no this will also divide right these these will also give two branches each you're not counting them these will multiply i am okay you're doing this but these will also multiply right Yes, sir. Ah, everything is multiplying. It's not just the new ones that are multiplying. Even if it's complicated, we'll still write it. And we have to, because that's the truth, right? And we'll see, we'll try to see it, uh, write it in a eventually non-complicated way. But currently, that's the situation, so we have to write it. Everything will multiply by two. Like all of this will get yeah, maybe I should put second bracket, but I'm putting first bracket only. Okay. I mean, you can, you understand the order of the operations. This will be the situation. Now, what to do with this? Any ideas? This looks very, very complicated. Can you simplify this? You see, I'll just maybe say it like this a little bit, that initially you can see that this is actually five times three. If that, if that is useful. Right? This thing is five times three. So what I will do is I will replace this by five times three, right? I shall, it's okay to do that, right? Better to do that maybe. And this also by five times three. Maybe this can give you some idea. Now I will not say more, now you have to think. And from this problem, we will learn the usefulness of having recurrences. If we would have written a recurrence relation, then we won't have to go through all this experimentation and see the mani what manipulation has to be done. All that would have come naturally or more easily. But fine, initially you have to do go through this kind of thing because we are not experts at making recurrence relations initially. It is.
Yes, any ideas? This writing it in terms of three, uh, see, is, is kind of maybe the trend now in this problem. So it's like five into three plus five into six plus five into um twelve oh, like that. Oh, let, no, let me so you so is five into six holding for the second stage? See? Huh, no, this is five into six, I agree, but what is the total? At the second stage. Again, you see, you can again take five into three common. Right? This thing comes out. Right? And so you see, there is a pattern which is not five into six, uh, but and that's this. But the total is five into three square. See if that is clear. Is that okay? Yes, sir. Right? Now you can catch the pattern. Okay. So this thing is 5 into 3 square. Right? And this thing is 5 into 3 square times 2. Now, how should you write this? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just uh, review this once. Okay, see, initially you had five, right? But at the from the calculations we are getting, it's five times three, then five times three square. And at the third stage, we are getting this. So, by the pattern, what should it be? And or even by this taking something common at the end of the third stage. Okay, uh, so uh, let me ask you this. Then. Can you simplify this expression? See, see this, this, this first part is coming from this first part, right? And this is coming from this because it was just two times that, right? This thing was just two times this thing.
is this uh, so so you can tell me if something is not clear there's some confusion Hello. Yes, sir. So, uh, is so, yeah. Is there any? Is there some confusion? Or, sir. No. So, 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 uh, can you say what are you thinking then? What is the Um, should I should I explain this again in brief, and then we can try to complete it? Uh, so I just had a question uh -huh. that the are like the vertices getting divided from two parts. Yeah, see, I mean, every vertex is multi is giving two vertices, right? That is happening. Yeah. It, uh, for the first five vertices, like you have divided them in four ways, upper and lower. So I. Oh that. yeah, yeah. This okay. So because see, this is what happens at the end of the first stage, right? But then. At the end of the second stage, these lower vertices will divide into two each, but the upper vertices will also divide because every vertex every vertex divides, right? That's why the upper things come. Do you see? These are coming because at the end of the second stage, the first five vertices are also dividing. Do you see that? That is why this is coming. Okay. Maybe I'll draw a different picture just on the scratch and try to show. See, initially you have these five vertices. Right? Okay. Then at the end of the first stage, each of them give you two vertices each. Okay. At the end of the second stage, what happens? Can you tell me? So initially we had five, yes. then, uh, right, yeah. So please say. What so the vertices of the second stage get divided into further two parts. Yeah, but not just of the second stage. Of the first stage also will divide into two parts. Right, because in this problem, it is not that old bacteria problem where only the new vertices were dividing. I mean, it is not the first problem that it's not the second problem about vertices that you are doing, right? This is that every vertex divides. So these vertices should also divide, right? Like I know they already divided earlier, but they will divide again. Okay, I mean, they will branch again into two branches. Okay. Now is it uh, clear? Yes, sir. Right. Everything at every stage, everything is branching into two parts. Now what happens to the third stage? It gets even more complicated. Why? Because see, these will branch. It, it, it gets almost impossible to draw if you think about it. Like these things will branch. I cannot draw all of them actually. It will take a very long time. But then these will also branch. Everything branches into two. Okay, and many, many are there. And these will also branch. These will also branch. All of them. It's a huge, it becomes a huge thing. 
Okay, that is why we write this whole thing, which was already there. And then we multiply this whole thing by two. Because this, those which were there at the previous stage, they will be there. But each of them, each and every one of them will get multiplied by two. This is there. But then each and every one of them will get multiplied by two. So again, we have to multiply the whole thing by two. It kind of is like explodes it in the brain thought of right of what is happening. But but so this is fine, right? But this is it's impossible to calculate like this. That's why we make we observe something. Let's see, initially it is five. Here at the second stage, yeah. If you take the five common, it becomes five times three. So that's a relief, right? Now you can use it. You can use that thing, right? It's five times three. If you use it, then this is five times three, and this is five times three times two. And now again, if you take five times three common, this will become five times three square. Do you see? Okay, imagining it becomes very, very difficult. But the numbers, there's a pattern. Right? Now you see this five times three square. So this is five times three square. Yeah, maybe this problem is a little, little complicated. I just made it up. So it, but it turns out that there's a good answer. Okay. You see, it's five times three square plus five times three square. This you see, if you again simplify, it becomes five times three cubed. And that's the nice pattern. So it's five times three to the power i. Three to the power n at the end. Is, is that idea clear? Yes, what, sir. Right? It's, I understand it's a bit complicated. Let's try to go, try to do this again yourself, right? These numbers see is your writing. At each stage, whatever was there at the previous stage is there, but then we will, whatever was there at the previous stage is there, but then that same thing is getting multiplied by two also and the total thing we have to add. But eventually there is a nice pattern in the numbers. And yeah, and the the reason the, the, the I mean, because this is getting complicated, we will have to, we should try to do this by recurrence relations, which we will maybe get into next time. We'll set up a recurrence. We'll learn the art of setting up recurrence, which will very, very smoothly tell us that it is five times three to the power n without so much. Yeah. But it's probably good to get an intuition, right? About how large these numbers can be. Uh, it's good to see the variations from by hand. Like we are literally doing this by hand, right? Writing out and then seeing the pattern. Okay. So maybe that's uh, that's what we will do next time. Yes. Meanwhile, um, meanwhile, I don't have any homework. Okay, for this time, um, you go over the. I mean, I will suggest if you get the time, then look at this geometric progression uh, summation questions. I mean, the the se sequence is probably easy, right? But uh, but the AP and GP, there'll be a summation portion, right? If you get the time, you should just get more used to them because we'll be using it more and more in the problems. Okay. All right. So with that, maybe I will stop today. And I don't know if Prakish will not be joining, so uh, it'll probably be one to one next time also. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. So then, see, then uh, next uh, same time next Saturday, nine thirty p.m. Okay. Please be on time. Okay, that will be convenient for us. Uh, all right. Okay. See you. Bye. Bye.